In this video, you're going to learn how to load the custom Lisp program that I wrote to automate the transition from AutoCAD into Photoshop, and then run it. So in AutoCAD, in the kitchen drawing, type VLIDE to go into the Visual Lisp Integrated Development Environment. Press Enter, and this interface appears. Open the Lay to Image Lisp file, if it's not already open and then scroll down. This is the whole program. It's relatively simple, but I just want to highlight a few details. Right here where it defines the function, C colon means that this is the name of the command. Lay numeral 2 IMG. We're going to have to remember that when we get back into AutoCAD because we're going to have to type that in as a command. Also down here we have imageprinter.pc3 that's the printer driver, and we created that earlier. We also created image size as the custom so-called paper size, which was actually 3,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels. Also down here we have the images color table, which is our style table. And if you had created a named style table, this would be an STB file. So if you have named your items differently, now is your chance to go ahead and change this code so it matches up with your printer driver, paper size, and or style table name. But if you followed along with the videos, you don't need to make any changes to this Lisp routine. However, you do need to load it so that AutoCAD can interpret it. And that's very simple. All you have to do is click this button right here. This loads the active edit window in AutoCAD and it gives us a message here that it was loaded. We can close this message right here. Now we can go back over into AutoCAD and type LAY2IMG, which is the name of this particular Lisp routine. Press Enter, and it's beginning to run. Go into the Output folder, which is empty, and put the cursor right here at the end of the file name it automatically added a dot and a star, and we're going to get rid of those two characters, so that the file name just says Kitchen. Click Save, and the Lisp routine starts working. It's printing each layer separately to a ping file, and you can verify that in your file system. Because I'm running Windows virtually, I'll just switch over to my Mac Finder and go to the Output folder, and you can see the ping files were generated here. I'll use Quick Look just by pressing the space bar, and you can see each particular file contains a separate layer. It's a bit hard to see because we're looking at a 3,000 pixel image here, and so the white pixels are actually grayed out a little bit. There's the sink, there's a couple of lines over here on a different layer, and there's a couple of upper cabinet lines here. So our process was successful, and you can use this in any of your more complicated drawings to save you time in transferring them from AutoCAD to Photoshop while maintaining the layer structure. So in this video, you learned how to load and execute the custom Lisp program that automates this process.